When I found myself standing on the edge of a bridge as a 15-year-old, ready to end it all, not really sure uh, if I was loved, if I was valued, if I had any place in the world, somebody reached out, and uh, a complete stranger, and pulled me back, saved me. When that happened, I realized that I could be that person too, that I didn't have to be on the edge, that I could be the stranger, usually, who reaches out and helps somebody else too. So that's what I do now, and that's really what's become my passion, is reaching out to others and trying to, to, to show them that there's so much more after this, that there's so much more if we just come back from that edge. I don't think you have to be a mental health professional or, or a doctor or, or anything to do this for people. You just have to be somebody who's willing to connect with somebody else. That's the most important thing. Any stranger can do what I'm doing. This isn't special. Anybody can do this. My passion is to help young people especially see that there's so much more than just this. That, that if, we, if we live in the present moment and we move with it uh, into our futures, then that we don't get wrapped up in all of the stuff that has weighted us down from the past. We don't get wrapped up in all of the things that we think might happen to us. We can just be authentic. We can authentically be. And that's what helps us to move forward. So my passion is helping young people especially to, to be authentic with themselves, to move toward their future in a, in, a, in, a, in a way that they have more control over, in a way that they can actually engage with their present to move toward their future. We need to change the way we think about youth at risk. I mean, we need to change the way we treat them as only youth and as only at risk. These are, these are young people, but they're still people. They still need to be able to make decisions for themselves. They still have an agency over their lives. We need to understand that. We also need to understand that struggle isn't a necessary rite of passage for young people that we can prevent depression, anxiety, suicide, and all kinds of other disorders, that they're not necessary parts of childhood, of adolescence. So youth don't have to be at risk. Youth are youth. We as a society are the ones who put them at risk, so we can give them safety too.